Hello. It's been a while since I've made a video about a computer science topic, but I've had a hard time feeling the relevance of learning new things given the current state of the tech revolution. Uh, that's a topic for a whole other video, so I won't be talking about it here, but maybe in a future video. Anyway, I finally decided to start working on a project that I've had in mind for almost a year now. Before I go over what it is, I just want to tell you a little bit of backstory about where the idea came from in the first place. So I took my first CS course about two years ago, and I remember at one point I saw a picture of the LEGO world map. Uh, for some reason, it inspired me, and I came up with the genius idea to write a program that purposely transforms high-quality images into extremely pixelated, low-quality ones. I still don't understand why, but something about pixelated representations of things is really cool to me. Maybe because I wear glasses and I'm used to seeing things in such low resolution. Who knows? Anyway, about a year later, I had the opportunity to make the pixelator for a class project, and it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. It took me a while to figure out how to write the algorithm because at the time we weren't allowed to use any libraries, so I just used pen, paper, and whiteboard to work something out and write it basically on my own, like from scratch. Eventually, I got a really restricted, overcomplicated version working, and that was the end of that. Later, I found out that I could make the same thing about a thousand times better, more efficient, and with way fewer lines of code using libraries like OpenCV and NumPy, like in Python. Um, but I guess that's kind of the whole purpose of learning CS in the first place, right? To spend more time than necessary to make something overcomplicated that will never be used. Uh, yeah, basically that's that sums up CS for me. No, just kidding. I'm only joking. But in hindsight, uh, coding the algorithm from scratch actually taught me a lot. Um, now looking back, I didn't, I didn't know it at the time, but I was kind of discovering topics like kernel filters, correlation, convolution, just through the process of having to write the algorithm from scratch. So that was pretty cool. And it helped me later on in some of my courses where we actually formally learned about those ideas. So that was exciting. But since making my first version, I've messed around a little bit more with various image processing techniques. Um, obviously this time around, saving myself a bunch of hassle by using libraries rather than coding everything from scratch. Um, and I've also had the chance to learn a little bit more about machine learning, um, either through self-study or through coursework. So that's been cool. And, you know, throughout taking those courses, I was introduced to concepts that related to image processing and machine learning and learned about the power of machine learning for you know, image generation and other forms of generate uh, data generation. And I thought to myself, if I can use simple code to make images worse, can I make more complicated code that makes images better? And that's when I decided to pro procrastinate on that project idea for half a year until now when I decided to start it and use this as an excuse to procrastinate doing other important things so that I can learn about, uh, you know, how to use machine learning to undo my work from about a year and a half ago. So it's an interesting cycle of where this project came from. But yeah, long story short, I read about the concept of image super resolution, which utilizes deep learning to increase the resolution of low quality images. And I'm now gonna try and implement a model from scratch, air quotes, um, using my own data to learn about uh, you know deep learning and its applications for image processing. Um, and I say from scratch in quotes because obviously I'm not gonna code everything from scratch. I'm gonna use existing libraries and whatnot, but yeah. Uh, to be honest, I don't know if this is going to work at all or turn out, you know, to do what I hope it's going to do, but that's kind of the purpose of a project, I guess, uh, to learn about something that interests you and whatever else comes along with that, failure included. Um, you know, I never really did anything like this before, but one major concern I have is with training the model because I'm just basically working on a laptop. So when I get to the point where I have to train my model, I'm afraid that not having a GPU is gonna be the death of me because the GPU basically, if you don't know, you know, like your computer has typically like a central processing unit or a CPU, which is like the brain of the computer kind of does a lot of things. And it's good at computation, but it's not very fast because basically things have to be computed sequentially rather than in parallel. But if you have a GPU, you can do parallel calculations with which can really speed up the process of training a machine learning model 
um so we'll see how that goes i might have to like rent one online or like build an external mini machine learning computer thingy i don't know we'll see we'll see where it goes but yeah um and that's obviously not the only thing that i'm afraid of you know approaching a t approaching a project like this with like relatively i would say newbie knowledge of the the field and the concepts i'm you know i'm a beginner so obviously i'm mostly scared of like the math and stuff that i'm gonna have to learn and reading papers you know i've read academic papers before but i feel like they're like more intimidating when there's a lot of math and stuff like uh for example i went through or i was trying to find a paper just like an overview of uh, image super resolution for deep with deep learning and it looks a little bit intimidating but i think it's gonna be helpful anyway i uh, want to get into how i'm planning to approach this project so aside from the inevitable setbacks from debugging and lack of knowledge i'm assuming there will be around five major elements of the project um so i'm assuming the first obviously is going to be research so you know deepening my understanding of the underlying concepts so deep learning stuff, how they're trained and all that stuff. Like I have a general knowledge of how that works, but um, you know, in practice, things are a bit different. So I'm gonna have to be doing a lot of research probably. And then there's of course, you know, collecting data, generating data, cleaning your data, figuring out how to like import and even use that data. And I'm basically planning to make like a pretty simple model that works well on my data. So it's not gonna be a generalized model cause I don't, have the skill or time to do that first try but maybe in the future um so i'll be making my own data um figuring out how to even do that in the first place um and then obviously after you have data you have to develop the model so figuring out the architecture of the model like what uh layers you're going to use what libraries you're going to use then coding it all up which i'm assuming is going to be probably one of the most difficult parts because i've never really done anything like this and then after you develop your model, obviously you have to train it and optimize it. So we'll use training data, you know, split our data into training, validation, test sets, just standard machine learning stuff. Um, and we'll use the validation set basically to um, tweak hyperparameters and whatnot to optimize the model. Um, and I'm assuming that there's going to be a few loops in this in this overview I've made where I'll probably you know do research get my data whatever develop have it to go back to research um, maybe figure out how I need to might maybe need to change my data or maybe yeah, by some miracle if I make it through development and then I'm into the training phase I might realize that I messed something up and then have to go back to the drawing board model uh, and work on model development again or all the way back to research and just I'm assuming it's not going to be a linear path through all of these project components, but that's okay. And then at the end, after we've optimized and trained, we can bask in our glory and look at some amazing images created by a machine learning model, which magically undoes the low quality, which magically undoes the pixelation that I put on the images in the first place from like two years ago. So. This is going to be an interesting project. I'm really excited to be learning about these concepts and implementing them on my own and documenting the process. Honestly, I have no no idea what to expect. All I know is that it's probably going to be really hard, probably really difficult and frustrating, but that's okay. And finally, uh, as for a timeline on the project, I don't really know how long this is going to take or how many checkpoint videos I'm going to have to, you know, go through. But I really don't care. To be honest, the overall purpose of this project, aside from, you know, learning about the ta uh, topics in CS, like deep learning and whatever, is to basically document my learning process and experiment with fun ways to present what I find along the way. Because ultimately, I guess that's what projects are for, you know, learning new things. And obviously, it'll be exciting if I end up, well, when I end up getting some form of result to call a conclusion on the first iteration of this project. Um, but... Basically, I just want to have a record of this process because um, it seems fun. That's about it.
cool. So I will see you in the next one, which I don't know when that will be, but I'm excited to do some more research and to start going at this, learning something fire and awesome. See ya.